Good morning, friends. This is my usual Monday morning talk with you today. And uh, today I would like to share with you a portion of scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And it's very important portion of scripture which really made me think about some things and uh, I would like to share that with you. Only uh, a couple of verses and it's not gonna take long and uh, I promise that uh, you will be blessed by listening and hearing from the Word of God. So we are reading from Apostles Paul and I will start with verse uh, 4 chapter 1. And there is a portion of scripture here in this chapter which is called Thanksgiving. And I would like to read from this portion, uh, starting from verse 4. I always thank God for you because of His grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in Him you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge, because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as your eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will keep you strong to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, who has called you into the fellowship with His Son Jesus Christ, our Lord, is faithful. So, friends, uh, this uh, portion of Scripture, when I was reading it this morning, touched my heart in a very special way. And I was thinking, do I really thank uh, God for every one of you who are watching this uh, channel, on the one hand, and also for those I communicated uh, in my life during 20 years of my ministry, those people who were touched by the Word of God through my lips. And um, I started thinking about those kind of people I interacted with during my lifetime. And um, I am really thankful for all of them, but I cannot remember all of them. But those I remember, I started thanking God for them, that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ was revealed in their life. And by grace of the Jesus Christ, they will be lifted up to be with God and with Jesus in heaven. And second portion I would like to uh, share with you here relates to what we have in Christ. And Paul says that we do not lack any gift, any spiritual gift uh, which is revealed to us uh, as a body of believers and uh, which is revealed to us individually. We do not lack anything. And this is also very important and for us it's very interesting to think about. Sometimes in living in this world we think that we lack something. We may lack food, we may lack uh, other things, uh, maybe material things and so forth. But are we thinking in that sense in the relationships to, to the spiritual uh, gifts and to the riches uh, which God is giving us in Christ Jesus? And here Paul exhorting the church in Corinth and he says to them that you have everything that God had provided for you until the day Jesus Christ is revealed. And this day is called the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it is also encouraging here for me that He, Jesus, will keep you strong to the end so that you will be blameless uh, blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, who has called you into the fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, is faithful. So, folks, uh, today during my coffee time, I would like to encourage you that we are all called to the fellowship with our Lord Jesus Christ and God. And this fellowship is uniquely uh, prepared for our, for our souls so that we would be blessed, we would be reached, and we would would be thankful. This is the message I wanted to share with you this morning and let the Lord bless you and keep you safe. Uh, grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you folks and thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking this video and until next time see you uh, in my next coffee talk.